Hello students, how are you today? Great, I hope you are all fine. Today we have a new topic about separating insoluble solids from liquids. Again, separating insoluble solids from liquids. Okay, so before we will start, let's read our vocabulary words first, okay? I want you to repeat after me. Say, solid. Great. Ani, liquid. Next, decantation. Okay, next, filtration. Next, precipitation. Next, insoluble. Okay, one more time. Okay, solid. Liquid. Decantation. Filtration. Precipitation. Insoluble. Okay. So, there are few ways to separate insoluble solids from liquids. Okay, so when we say insoluble, uh, cannot be dissolved. Okay, solids that cannot be dissolved in liquids. Okay, so there are three ways. There are three ways to separate insoluble solids. First, we have decantation. Next, filtration and precipitation. Again, the three ways are decantation, filtration, and precipitation. So, we will talk first a decantation. Again, decantation. So, this is the simplest technique to separate a liquid from an insoluble solid. Okay, so again, decantation is the simplest technique, very simple technique. So, in here, the solid is allowed to settle to the bottom, okay? The bottom of the water. Okay, so, decantation can be applied. Okay, so look at the picture, please. So that these are insoluble. See, so when you pull out the thing, the leaves will...
share your activity, okay? You write your name on your notebook and your number. So you have to write uh, decantation, filtration, or precipitation. So you have to answer one, two, seven, okay? So that's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.